The best thing about being the cousin of a billionaire is that no one cares that I've been wasted off my face since 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah! New Zealand is the greatest country on the planet. That's why it's at the top of the globe. All needs to just hang the fucking map upside down. New Zealand is the greatest country on the planet. And if you don't know, well now you know. Near car. I'm so wasted I can see Jesus. Pshaw, there's no such thing as Jesus. Wake up, Fano, get your land back. I'm so wasted I'm paranoid. Who said that? Nah, I'm not that. Who said that? Another day that I won't remember. Being rich as the ships. As you know, Johnny is our new weekly guest and lets us know how he and his family are adjusting to being a worldwide super celebrity. How's the family, Johnny? Cheer Dave, we all good? Dad and Granddad are still making movies with famous people. Quarter is still old. Mad Dog and Red are still selling drugs for Uncle Regan while working at Super Fats and keeping the cops off their backs. Regan is still growing drugs and tours the world playing music to keep the cops off his back. Mum's still a slots. Dad's still a stoner. Rissy is a Lots. like mum and sister is just keen to be away from her crazy parents. Baby is cool. Rangi and Hemi are just like normal wasted teenage boys. Cousin Cars is enjoying the transition from being a drugged up lawbreaker to being a drugged up lawbreaker with a job, being the field reporter at our games. I'm working in the office with this rich dude. Everyone in Lost Rock 4 has been real good to us, Horries. Remember after we win this game? No one touches my ass, you freaky American fags. The new plan from Kiwi. Come on, Matt. What you get, My joke's illegal. Really bad. Never bring up our ship. Parachute has been sleeping with Christian. But it still had to be brought up. Ah, parachute. Ah, parachute. Never bring up our shit TV has been sleeping with John Campbell. But show great. Never bring up your two words of Maori when you sleeping with a Maori activist. The young, beautiful, intelligent, strong woman go crazy. Kiwi. Suppose it's easy, you just fuck everything that moves and try not to fall in love with the female reporter or get her pregnant. When I was growing up in Ootara with only a lava lover and a cook and donut as a friend. When I was growing up in Vietnam, a hoochie mom prostitute mother addicted to King I did. When I was growing up, the youngest of 907 children, I never thought I'd see the day that marijuana was openly smoked on the field by the players, crowd, and referees. When I was growing up, mass murder on death over killing both my parents. When I was growing up, raising my 600 little brothers and sisters with lemonade stars and a paper, and I never thought I'd see the day that a field director would get paid more than a fine tutor retired chain lady called Buffy. Who thinks she's one lay away from scaring a job in the next Fifth Curtis movie? But I seen it here today, folks. Cheer America's art sheets. All of near car people do the real work. Cheer not me anymore now. I got money because girls like money and things that cost money. I'm gonna take that chili and watch that on film and then watch that on film. I'm gonna take that chili and love and care for her, nurture her out of her dancing retardedness until she can talk like a normal person again. And then watch that on film. <laughs> My first Maori porn I've ever seen. Uh, why is it paid for by Destiny's Church? Fariki. Fariki. This is the first Brazilian porn I've seen where there isn't a chick with a 13 inch clitoris. Clitoris. And bring these little boy from Jean, she can't act. And bring these little boy from Jean, she can't act. Now look at me stuck in here with a drunk Mexican cleaning a stone New Zealand next car. I'm glad cousin cuz brings enough kiwi for everyone. Yay wee! Then Sasha McNeil yells out, suck my dick! Cunty! In perfect time to flash dance. Suck my dick, suck my dick, cunty, suck my dick, cunty. And her arms were as open as moving on my smuff sixty legs. And then she mimicked right in the foot. And as the pool turned purple to show there were multiple STDs. Now I've been stoned before, but Daniel McCormick took me to a whole nother level. That butch can smoke! Dana Cocraft was the best money I ever spent. Now this is the Justin Timberlake hard streetwear collection. If I was black, you wouldn't accuse me of being gay, you would accuse me of being hip hop. Okay, one time I sucked scribes nuts at a CD lodge, but I went home with Kate Hawksby, so I can't be gay. Kate Hawksby. <laughs> this is pretty much the same job I had at TV and Z. At Television New Zealand, standing around smoking weed with the boss all day. This is pretty much the same job I had at the sawmill, standing around smoking weed with the boss all day. This is pretty much the same job I had at Shred Shining Jason Gunn's trophies, standing around watching him get shot down by girls all day. This is pretty much the same job I had at the meatworks, standing around smoking weed with the boss all day. This is pretty much the same job I had at Parliament, standing around smoking weed all day. This is pretty much the same job I had at the hospital, standing around smoking weed all day. This is pretty much the same job I had at the police station, standing around smoking weed all day. This is pretty much the same job I had at Wikidia Prison. Pretty much the same job I had at ESPN, standing around smoking weed all day with the boss. This is pretty much the same job I had at North Shore Alternative Kindergarten, standing around smoking weed all day. Me and Victoria Grant were locked in a Dubai hotel room with 100 pounds of kiwi all fucked up on ecstasy. Fuck! I love women's rugby. Me, Tim and Potter George, Jenny Man Coffin, Paula Griffin, and the entire Jamaican Nipple team, and a couple of the six of from the England team were locked in a Tikwiri hotel room. Tikwiri, yo! Say it well. Tikwiri. Not Tikwiri. No place called Tikwiri. With 100 pounds of kiwi. Kiwi! Trying to convince Brooke Fraser out of making another album. Shut the fuck up, Brooke Fraser! In the Los Angeles hotel room with 100 pounds of kiwi and a paranoid Elizabeth Skeen who was being violated by a way too drunk Jason Gunn. Leave the girls alone now, Jason! They spun the wheel and it's fuck off. I was getting more pussy than the Beirut's. I didn't say Nisian Mystic is good, huh? I didn't say Nisian Mystic was good, huh? Elizabeth Ferguson knows his ship. <laughs> One time Midnight Youth was getting set up for a gig and Regan walked in and kicked the ass. Because the Midnight Youth guitarist said, Why didn't Regan do that? And the lead singer said, Why wouldn't we kick our ass? Because we're fags. The new band from Kiwi. Six fags. One night, Maisie Rika came in here, sniffing lines at the same rate 12 year olds get to know themselves, and writes a song on Julian Wilcox's ass. The chorus went, Hi, I'm Julian Wilcox, please be my friend. I overact on all my interviews, please be my friend. I hit on Marty Girls and say I'm famous. Please be my friend, I'm Julian Wilcox. Six five. One night, a TV show came in, come in there, and he said, Mike McRoberts has never, and I mean never, ever helped fucking carry anything in his whole fucking life. Holy Smith sucks. I know you don't know me, but if you're my boyfriend, I'd learn how to cook and make your favorite meal ever. 
every night while you watch homemade porn are just made for you fresh each day. But if you ever do it on me, I'm sick of catastrophe for You can only play those dollar songs. I'll buy you a PlayStation and let you play 40 hours a week. I never complain about you getting enough quality time. But if you ever do it on me, I'll bring PlayStation with your face, your paws. But it's just me caring, eh, babe? It's just me giving, eh, babe? I go to the gym every day and I eat right and I style the shit out of myself. And so I look attractive to you and I'm learning how to read and get a degree from Harvard and Kama Sutra. But if you ever cheat on me, I'd rip the karma out of your nuts! You're nuts! But that's just me giving happiness, eh, babe? <laughs> School is so full of chips. I never tell you the most important thing about learning is to make your Phoebe Fletcher's ASX, American 67. 65. If you have anything sexy about you, use it, the chips. School sucks. School's ships! If you're fucking Jerry Sarah posts the rich dude from Wellington and the soccer team, try and get pregnant. That motherfucker is rich! It's like the time Mike Ellis was my dealer and before he fake cried on TV like a lady. But should have been the leader of the people who love drugs party and got the ships sorted! He used to be cool, Mike Ellis.